for the past eight years on my blog scholar strategy i've been getting one consistent query and that is people ask should i wait to get more work experience before applying for ms or mba so that's what we will talk in this video i'm going to tell you three benefits you can get from work experience but other than that what are the reasons why you should or should not wait to get more work experience so keep watching Nindrup Sutta, she got into Harvard MS and CS program. There's Bhargav Parsi who cracked UCLA MS and CS program and George Jacob who got into Georgia Tech for MS in electrical engineering programs. The best part, all of them are freshers. None of them are from IITs. And if you thought that work experience is definitely required for MIS or engineering management kind of programs, then we had Ashish Arora who got into CMU and TAMU MIS and Columbia Applied Analytics programs. The point is work experience is not mandatory. As we saw in these profiles, all of them were freshers, but what they did have were good internships. In fact, three out of four of them had foreign internships. So they had internship projects which were relevant to the programs they were applying for. They were able to get LORs from these internships. They had either like, you know, nine plus GPA or super high GRE, if not both. So overall their profile was great. So they did not have to wait to get more work experience. In fact, sometimes I've seen that top programs like Harvard, Stanford, sometimes you see very young people or freshers getting in. But of course, those profiles would be stellar. They must have done something extraordinary, which makes them stand out. We will see uh, what are some of the cases in which you should wait to get work experience. So does that mean that work experience is useless? Uh, definitely not, right? I've seen three advantages that you can get if you get work experience. Better SOP and LORs. And why is that? Because they have worked these extra years they have worked on some more interesting projects. They had people vouching for them. So overall, they had like, you know, a bigger set of things they had done, which they could write about in their SOP or LORs. So normally more work experience means that your SOP and LORs can be more solid, more relevant to the, to the programs that you're applying for. Uh, but I've seen that like, you know, one to two years is the sweet point. Like for example, if you have two years of work experience, then you must have done enough projects, one or two projects that you can mention in your application. You can get someone to like, you know, write you a LOR and that's all you need. So beyond two years, if you wait or let's say candidate with three years of work experience may not necessarily have an edge over someone with two years of work experience. So any additional year after two does not give you any incremental advantage because in the eyes of admission committee, you are not much different. Even if you're thinking of getting work experience, I think two is the maximum you can target if you're applying for MS kind of programs. Of course, in case of MBA, sometimes we have seen easily four to five years of experience people also applying. And by this, I definitely do not mean that because I have personally handled cases of three clients where they had more than 10 years of work experience and they went on to study at MIT and CMU. So even if you have higher work experience, it's not like you cannot crack these programs. But what I'm saying is that you do not need this much work experience to get into these programs. And this is where we saw all the fresher profiles that we saw because they had interesting internships, solid projects. They were able to get that good LOR from their internship itself and they did not have to wait for the full time work experience. Clear advantage in job interviews. So while you necessarily may not have a lot of advantage at the time of application, but if you do have work experience, we see that those kind of people tend to fare better in the internship and job interviews that happen in grad school. You have spent more years in the industry. You have more things to talk about in these job interviews. So that's definitely one area where having work experience can give you an edge over freshers. Again, exceptional cases of freshers where they have done very, very good projects and have great internship exposure, they are able to do this as well. Ability to negotiate better job offers. So we already talked about how having work experience can give you an advantage in job interviews, but it also gives you an upper hand when you're trying to negotiate for, let's say, higher salary or better titles. So in some cases, uh, candidates with four or five years of experience might be able to negotiate a title of senior software engineer as opposed to software engineer. 
but I'm going to give you a caveat here. This is more of an exception rather than predominant rule. In fact, we have seen that like, you know, having very long work experience actually does not translate to similar kind of increments or job titles in US because the employers there necessarily do not see your Indian experience as equivalent to US experience. So at times you may have to join at the same salary or title as another fresher. Um, so if you have work experience do try to negotiate but this is not something that like you know can incentivize you to get more work experience before going for masters itself. Lastly where work experience can actually help you is if you do not have a very good profile as a fresher. In such cases, for example, uh, you do not have good or relevant internships, you have mediocre projects, then you may not be able to crack that top admit as a fresher. And if you get some sort of work experience, it may help you target better quality universities when you apply with work experience. And this was my case, so let me quickly tell you my story. When I was applying as a fresher, uh, I got 9 out of 10 rejects. I had a very, very, like, you know, lower ranked schools uh, admit and I did not want to go there. So I decided to join a job uh, and apply again next year. So I had roughly, what, I think 5 to 6 months of work experience when I applied. Um, and this time I got into UIUC. So while I had like super high GPA, I was a class topper, so four on four, I had super high GRE score. Uh, back then we had a scale of 2400, so I got 23, 20 out of 2400. So my scores were great, but my projects, uh, lack of internships, all those things made my profile pretty mediocre. So having this extra work experience, and then I took one LOR from this company as well, that definitely bolstered or enhanced my profile and I was able to get into UIUC this time. So this case clearly applied to me. So if you are in a similar boat where like, you know, your scores are good, but in terms of projects, you are not as solid and you think you can get into a better school, then yes, get one or two years of work experience at a good company relevant to the program you're applying to. And that can probably land you better admits uh, when you reapply. So my conclusion is that if you already have work experience, it's not a disadvantage. Or if you are a fresher with mediocre profile, then yes, getting some good work experience can enhance your profile. But if you have decided that you wish to apply, then you don't need to wait to get work experience to apply. As we saw in case of many freshers at Scholar Strategy, they get into pretty good admits. Uh, and they can then start earning earlier in US. Lastly, there's one more case where having some sort of work experience can benefit you and that is if you are not already sold on your plans for MS. That is if you're not convinced entirely that do you want to do MS or not, if you're not clear about that, then yes, do get some work experience because that will give you clarity that do you enjoy working um, or do you want to go back to school and study some more. So it will help you get more clarity so that you don't necessarily go, go into like, you know, another education institute, spend another two years and then figure out that it was not worth it in the end. Now, here's a bonus tip for freshers, right? If you think MS is the right career path for you, but you do not even have a like, you know, stellar profile or something, you should still apply in your final year. Um, and the reason is when you get the results from these applications, it will help you understand where you stand. For example, if you get all rejects, then it gives you a reality check that profile is not as strong. You need to put some more effort into the applications or maybe apply to different set of schools next time. That definitely helped me because when I was reapplying, I already knew what kind of schools I had gotten rejects from. So I did apply to some more mod and safe schools the next time and it made me comfortable with the whole process because as you know MS in US is a daunting very long drawn process so if you're already familiar with it then as a reapplicant you feel more comfortable and put up an application more confidently and definitely universities give like you know slight um, 
edge or might favor someone who is reapplying if they think the profile is good because that shows uh, like you know commitment on the part of the candidate and definitely you are not looked down upon as a reapplicant so there's no disadvantage as a reapplicant so i think there's like you know it's a win win situation you should apply in the final year itself uh, because let's say if you do get a good admit then you don't have to wait another year and then you can go straight away and if you don't get all those admits you can always go get some more work experience and then reapply we have more videos coming out where successful candidates share their experience and application journeys so stay tuned and stay subscribed as usual i try to uh, share the advice that you normally wouldn't find in other places so see you in the next video take care for now